a new study that looks at our metabolism and age. Researchers conducted a multinational study examining the metabolism, surveying nearly 6,500 people from babies to the elderly. And this is a story we first saw in the New York Times. And we have someone here to break it all down for us. It's registered dietitian and nutritionist Don Jackson Blattner. I was so fascinated by the study. So I, I want you to start first. Uh, the scientists were examining metabolism and age. Tell us what they found. Yeah, so the study was all about what does age actually do to our metabolism? And metabolism is how many calories you're burning through the day. And this is what they found, that we have four metabolism categories throughout our life. So the first category is babies to one years old. And this is where, oh my gosh, is the metabolism high? Because of course, you know, babies burn a lot of calories because they're growing. Then we have kids ages one to 20, and they're gonna have a high metabolism than adults but it's not as high as those babies and then we get into adults and this is ages 20 to 60 and metabolism stays relatively constant in both men and women in that category and then we have the older adults that after 60 metabolism is slowly declining about 1% a year so those were the four metabolism categories Okay, so let's talk about that 20 to 60, because I know that really challenges some of the common thinkings when it comes to metabolism. We all think your metabolism slows down. That's why the weight comes on, right? Were you surprised by the findings? Yes, the number one surprise was in that 20 to 60 year old category. Because yeah, we all think like, oh, you know, I'm gaining weight, my metabolism is slowing. But this study really turns that on its head. And is that really true, right? Um, because the study finds that at 20 to 60, our metabolism is relatively steady. So if you're gaining weight middle age, oh, uh, maybe we can't blame metabolism anymore because, you know, this study sort of questions that. Maybe some of us will continue to blame it just because we want to. <laughs> So, I yeah. want to name it his, name. His, his initials are Dan Harris. <laughs> so I guess the thing for people watching this is what can they actually do with the information we have from the study? Well, yeah, and the other surprising thing, too, is, you know, thinking about the men and women, their metabolism ages pretty similarly. I think that's also surprising um, because a lot of times we think gender and hormone fluctuations uh, shift metabolism, and this study also turns that on its head. So, you know, this is one study on metabolism. Metabolism is super complex, um, and it doesn't really tell us anything exactly what to do with our diet or nutrition, but I'll tell you this. No matter what category your metabolism is, no matter what your age, there are pillars that we can all follow to be healthier. And so these are some of the things we can do. First, we can eat more protein, fruits, and vegetables. This will help protect our muscles. Then we can not sit as much, okay? Um, exercising, going for walks, parking farther away, taking the stairs, and of course, incorporating strength training. Strength training can be done with weights, uh, resistant bands. It can be done with your own body weight, but that's gonna build our muscle and keep it strong. And then, I mean, you can't talk about health without talking about sleep. Getting enough sleep because that's where our body actually repairs and recharges. I think that's what I'm going to blame for the weight gain over the years is the sleep, because that's what we lose as we get older, isn't it? Don, thanks so much for being with us. A good reminder that health is not about weight or a number, but about a lot of other things. Let's get a check. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.